Hi, this is Grandpa Jim. I have a question here from Ellie Mae. And Ellie Mae asks, Grandpa Jim, is there really a Santa Claus? Well, Ellie Mae, that question has been asked year after year after year. In fact, more than 120 years ago, a little eight-year-old girl asked that exact question. And she wrote the newspaper because her daddy had told her, well, let's read, we'll read her letter. This is from Virginia O'Hanlon. It was written to the New York Sun in 1897. Dear Editor, I am eight years old. Some of my little friends say there is no Santa Claus. Papa says, if you see it in the sun, it is so. Please tell the truth. Is there a Santa Claus? And it's signed, Virginia O'Hanlon. Her letter was published in the newspaper along with an answer from the editor of the New York Sun. And it reads like this. Virginia, your little friends are wrong. They have been affected by the skepticism of a skeptical age. They do not believe except they see. They think that nothing can be which is not comprehensible by their little minds. All minds, Virginia, whether they be men's or children's, are little. In this great universe of ours, man is a mere insect, an ant in his intellect, as compared with the boundless world about him, as measured by the intelligence capable of grasping the whole truth and knowledge. Yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus. He exists as certainly as love and generosity and devotion exist, and you know that they abound and give to your life its highest beauty and joy. Alas, how dreary would the world be if there were no Santa Claus. It would be as dreary as if there were no Virginias. There would be no childlike faith then, no poetry, no romance to make tolerable this existence. We should have no enjoyment except in sense and sight. The eternal light which childhood fills the world would be extinguished. Not believe in Santa Claus? You might as well not believe in fairies. You might get your papa to hire men to watch all the chimneys on Christmas Eve to catch Santa Claus. But even if they do not see Santa Claus coming down, what would that prove? Nobody sees Santa Claus, but that is no sign that there is no Santa Claus. The most real things in the world are those that neither children nor men can see. Did you ever see fairies dancing on the lawn? Of course not, but that's no proof that they are not there. Nobody sees Santa Claus, but that is no sign that there is no Santa Claus. The most real things in the world are those that neither children nor men can see. Did you ever see fairies dancing on the lawn? Of course not, but that's no proof that they are not there. Nobody can conceive or imagine all the wonders that are unseen and unseeable in the world. You may tear apart a baby's rattle and see what makes the noise inside. But there is a veil covering the unseen world, which not the strongest man, nor even the united strength of all the strongest men that ever lived could tear apart. Only faith, fancy, poetry, love, romance can push aside that curtain and view and picture the supernal beauty and glory beyond. Is it all real, uh, Virginia? In all this world, there is nothing else real than abiding. No Santa Claus? Thank God he lives, and he lives forever. A thousand years from now, Virginia, nay, ten thousand, ten thousand years from now, he will continue to make glad the heart of childhood. That is one of the most reprinted newspaper articles ever published. So it must be true. So Ellie Mae, yes, there is a Santa Claus. Merry Christmas. Thank you.